everyone. It's time for us to go and do a speed comparison between iOS 18 and iOS 17 on the iPhone 11s. Now, this is a pretty interesting thing because for the most part, between both, they're both very good phones. They're both iPhone 11s. So we should be able to see that the speed, you know, whether it's faster or slower, we'll be able to see it. This one's on 70.7. .7. This is on iOS 18, the official version. So let's start it. Phone call is 321. I think 17 already faster. Music 321 iOS 18 did get into this pop-up a little bit faster than my iOS 17 iPhone. Hopping out of these two, Photos 321. Okay, iOS 17 faster, Camera 321. Okay, a little bit of a difference here for the most part. Clock 321. About the same thing, Mail 321. iOS 17 faster. Let's go and get into App Stores 321. So the bottom started loading up faster on the iOS 17 device, but the iPhone 11 on iOS 18 loaded up the thing officially faster. Scrolling through, let's see if there's any big differences here, which again, I don't think there's going to be. And it didn't really seem like there was. Click all the way, all the way click to the top, not much of a difference there either. Settings, 3, 2, 1. I think 17 may have been faster there. Let's get into some other applications that we have a lot of. So we can try something like Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. And iOS 17 was faster there. Let's go into some of these other applications. Let's try Netflix, 3, 2, 1. And kind of the same thing. I think iOS 18 may have been a little bit faster there. Let's go into Dropbox, which of course I don't have here. We can try something like Facebook, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I think iOS 17 was faster there too. Let's go into Stack, 3, 2, 1. And with this one, you can see that, oh, I mean, some differences here. This one got into the ad faster. So kind of take that as well. So I don't know what which one's playing the song here. Let me turn the volume down on both. I don't know why that happened. So this one had the volume up a little bit. So let's get back into it. And if we go and get into stack, you can see that the game's probably going to be roughly around the same thing. It's probably not going to be any big massive differences here as far as I can tell. Hopping out of these two, let's go and get back into it. Let's do thank you, three, two, one. And with this type of game, you can see iOS 17 a little bit faster, iOS 18 a little bit slower here. So gameplay-wise, it's kind of what you're going to see. Let's go into Snake vs. Blocks, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so this one I already did kind of mess up on. And this one already had a pop-up, so we're just going to have to hop out of that one. Let's go into Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. So you can kind of get an idea that they're both kind of similar. There's not really like these big massive differences between both. You're basically seeing between both like some pros and cons. Like sometimes this one's faster, sometimes this one's faster. Sometimes there's just some like a random pop up that comes up. So I wouldn't really go to these two and kind of be, you know, like I think they're both very good phones when they both kind of come down to it. It just kind of comes down to if you're on iOS 17, that one is probably going to be the more stable one, probably for a vast majority of people. I think, you know, as I've seen before, if you're going to go through and just whatever you're going to do, you're probably going to be getting a better experience on iOS 17 for now than iOS 18. Even though iOS 18 is giving you way more features and a way more capability for the most part, I think it makes a lot more sense to go and get a phone or a version of software that's going to be giving you a more stable experience, especially on some of these older ones. And that's kind of what's going on between these two iPhones. So in my personal opinion, they're both killing it. They both do a really good job, but I would probably say for the average person, stick with iOS 17 for now, but wait until iOS 18 comes and like iOS 18.0.1 or 18.0.3, then install it. And I think that would make a lot more sense in my personal opinion. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.